What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Now they said that cup, well roads to cups are hard, but it's just been made that little bit harder as we're taking on Liverpool at Anfield. I mean we've drawn some pretty good teams so far in the Capital One Cup um, and we have managed to come out on top. I mean we beat Arsenal so hopefully we can go and do the same to this Liverpool side. Not a full strength Liverpool side but still strong enough. Um, Steven Gerrard still playing, uh, Barini, so it's a bit of a, a reserve side I guess you would say. Um, but I mean there's still there's still definitely some good players in there um, that can go and pose a threat. I mean, they are only playing against a League 2 team when you think about it, in all honesty. Um, but we will just have to wait and see. Tim Payne playing today. Now, obviously, he has been uh, away with Auckland City at the Club World Cup. They managed to finish third. What an effort by... Uh, you know, Auckland City are, are pretty much an amateur team. They are a semi-professional team. Um, ooh. We're definitely making some good chances. But I mean, Steven Gerrard still playing here. Jordan Henderson, Joe Allen. So, as I said, it's not that much of an understrength side. Um, but still probably, I guess, a, a second string team. So, hopefully we can go and get the job done. But back to that. Auckland City finishing uh, third in the Club World Cup, which is pretty cool. They came oh, within uh, inches of actually securing a place in the final against Real Madrid. But just couldn't get it done in extra time. Um, against, I can't remember who they played against, but... Just couldn't get it done, unfortunately. I mean, what what a boost for New Zealand football that would have been had Auckland City made it to the Club World Cup final and took on Real Madrid. I mean, it would have just been something special. It would have been great exposure uh, for the game in New Zealand. Great exposure, I guess, for the Phoenix um, playing in the A-League and just exposure for, I guess, New Zealand and Australian football as a whole. Because um, I know Western Sydney didn't actually make it too far. I think they were playing in the fifth and sixth playoff. Um, but they... I can't actually remember who they pulled. I think they they must have played whoever Real Madrid played in the semi-final. Because I remember reading somewhere um, that if Western Sydney did win, that they had a, a dream matchup against uh, Real Madrid in the semi-finals. But I mean, what a feeling it must be for Ivan Vislich to be able to go and stand beside Sergio Ramos and Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, I mean, that is just incredible. Who would not want to do that? I mean, even if you don't like the players, don't respect... Well, I mean, you've got to respect the players for their ability. Um, great save there by Bentley as he keeps it at 0-0. But, I mean, you just got to respect their ability. And just for someone who plays for, like, an, a semi-professional side to go and be standing beside the likes of those two, it just must be something incredible. I, I, I don't think words could describe what Ivan Vesalic was probably feeling. I mean, he picked up a very nice paycheck as well. I think he picked up, I read somewhere, or someone told me that he picked up about $3 million um, for winning the third best player at the Club World Cup. So that's pretty impressive. What are you doing, Liverpool? Passing around. Someone actually was talking, I was talking to my mate last night about that Markovic fella, um, just on Ultimate Team. Pretty pretty good. I mean, he, I think he's only 78, but very quick, very fast. Just like hopefully Rodriguez is going to be here so he can get past. I don't even know who that other defender is. Is that Sacco? I think Sacco is still playing. Martin Skittle, it is still a pretty strong Liverpool side, I must say. I thought it was quite weak when I saw on the... Um, when I saw the team sheet at the start of the game, but now that I look at it um, on a second look, it is actually quite strong. Lovren's playing as well. Skirtle. Skirtle can't be playing. If Sacco and Lovren are playing, Skirtle can't be playing. They must have been talking about him being on the bench, possibly. Um, and I guess I've had to reshuffle my team. This probably isn't the strongest team that I could go and put out, um, just due to the fact... Um, I guess of scheduling, game scheduling. Um, we've had a lot of games recently, so as you can probably tell, or as you can see down the bottom, a lot of my players are actually quite tired, and I had had to bring on um, a few reserve and sub players where I wouldn't really want to. Um, and then the injury to Weston as well, which uh, was picked up. I think I picked that up before the last episode, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, we lost him for a wee while as well. It's quite a serious injury, which is a real shame, because he was banging in goals. Um, and I really had like starting to use him on the left, um, playing Core up front. But Core, funnily enough, um, I think he's been playing for the club for a wee while, but he's just come out and said that he's feeling a bit homesick. Um, so I'm not too sure really what's going on there, but said he's a bit homesick. He said he hasn't, I haven't told anyone, haven't even told my agent, um, but he's feeling a bit homesick and he went straight to the boss and told the boss. So first half, pretty uneventful, nil-nil um, in this Capital One Cup. This fourth round, so I mean, we are starting to get towards, as you can see the end, look at some of the teams that are left in there. There aren't really, uh, aren't really any small teams left in there. I mean, 
You could maybe... Well, I mean, even those teams aren't that small. I mean, they're championship teams, for God's sake. Um, so we are doing very well, punching well above our weight. And, I mean, if we could make it... I, I think after this, we get into the quarterfinals. And, again, it's just that thing that really I try and do when I'm playing career mode when I'm starting off with a small team and that is really try and focus on the cups I mean if you can focus on the cups um, you do get I know in the earlier rounds it's not the best of pay packets but you do get a nice wee pay packet um, for progressing in the cups especially when you start to get further on and especially in more prestigious cups um, like the FA Cup um, etc. I think also if you'd win the FA Cup in this I think you qualify for the Europa League which again huge huge bonus money wise and if you really want to go and try and build your team up like I try and do in every FIFA getting into those European competitions as early as possible that's a shocking foul just send him off ref send off that Liverpool prick send him off that is disgusting what's he giving him? Uh, just a yellow card that was dis a disgusting tackle ref yeah, but apparently he is real quick, that guy. Um, I'm going to take a shot from here. There is nowhere near enough power in that. That is a weak free kick. Oh, they've just brought on Raheem Sterling. It's like when you play against people on Ultimate Team. It really pisses me off. They've got like a, an average kind of squad. And then they go and bring on their subs at half time. And they bring on like, oh, Sergio Aguero and Hazard. And it's like, really? I was doing so well. Oh, cool. Oh, just too heavy. Brad Jones, the Australian playing today. No Simon Mignolet. No Simon Mignolet, folks. He has been rested. Well, I mean, he was actually... I think he was dropped on the weekend against United just because he he just didn't... um Just hadn't been performing. He's just been playing pretty poorly. Um, but a goalkeeper has been playing very well, David De Gea. I mean, he has been... In Ultimate Team, he has been near informs almost every week. I mean... He made, what did he make? I think he made about eight saves on the weekend against Liverpool. So he basically single-handedly um, won the game for United. And he probably, over the past couple of seasons, has been our best player. Don't pull my shirt, man. Ref, give him a card. That is just a cynical foul. It stopped the counter-attack. They're bringing on, oh my god, here we go. Now, now come on the big guns. Danny Sturridge on now. I actually picked him up yesterday in a pack opening, and I've been using him in Ultimate Team. Very good player. And I mean, he would be one of those players that potentially I'd look at go and buy in career mode if I ever got the funds. I'm hoping I do. Oh, switch to... No, Cool's not going to get... Oh, he's just pulled up injured. I I just... I could just see that coming, just with how tired he was. Oh, go Vargas. No. No, no, no. I don't seem to be playing very well um, at FIFA at the moment. I'm, I'm not too sure why. And now they're going to bring on Adam Lallana. Jesus. I've, I've got to bring off... You don't often see this from me making a substitution, but I've got to bring off Core. He is just way too injured. He is just way too injured and way too tired. Way too tired. I've just, I, I must say, I haven't really been playing that great of FIFA lately. Um, in saying that, though, I did play Ultimate Team last night against one of my mates and beat him 16-1, but I just don't think he realised how good I was at FIFA, or maybe not how good I am, but maybe just his level of ability. Um, oh, no. See, this is what I'm worried about. Now they've now they've gone and they've got all these fresh players on, and they're just going to exploit me on the counter attack here, um, which is not good. Don't, don't, don't get that away. Oh no, ref! You're kidding. It's not a pen. That is not a penalty. Oh my god, Sacco, you diving piece of crap! What are you doing? Oh. Shit. This is basically our Capital One Cup gone. Steven Gerrard, that is a... Whew, that face, that face. All right, I'm, I reckon he's going left. Damn it. He did technically go left. Didn't he? I dove to the right. When you think about it. But Gerrard puts Liverpool up. And that may be enough for Liverpool to struggle to a 1-0 win against a League 2 team. And I guess... I guess that's kind of been a story of their season. They have just been struggling to go and get wins. They struggled to a draw on the weekend against Arsenal. I was real disappointed in that. That was on Monday, actually. I thought I was going... I actually had to go out to the airport. And I came back, and I remember seeing the game on. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. I watched it in my uh, in my room. And then I remembered that the sh uh, the channel that shows it, um, well, shows Liverpool games, has actually been canned. So couldn't watch that. And so I just lay in bed for a bit. Uh, pretty bored. Oh, go Vargas. No! B 
finish that off, son! Oh no, and now Danny Sturridge away on the counter-attack, places Sterling again. This is how we got into this mess in the first place on the counter-attack. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, Raheem. Adam Lallana. I don't even know what formation they're running with here, but they are just passing it around like wild dogs. And Gerard has gone and made it 2-0. And that, I think, folks, is the end of our Capital One Cup journey. What a shame to go out to Liverpool in this fashion. But Gerard has picked up a brace, and I can't see us coming back from here now. Um, we just haven't, as I said, it's not as though... Liverpool played that great in this game. I think I just played poorly. And I'm hoping that I can go and, and fix that up soon because there's nothing worse than playing bad in FIFA. You know, if the opposition plays well and you lose, yep, that's cool, you accept it. But if you're playing like shit and you lose, it's just put, it leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Maybe that's the orange juice I had this morning, but I'm not too sure. We're going to look at wrapping this video up very, very soon, guys. Um, there's still going to be a video tomorrow, even though it is Christmas Day. I'm just about to go and record that now. Remember, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, hit that like button. So tomorrow, there's going to be Don Bradman as usual. Friday, MLB Road to the Show, and Saturday, some more Cricket Coach. I do hope you guys have a good and safe Christmas. If you are traveling, safe travels. If not, I hope you have a good time with your family. I certainly am going to, going to go catch up with a few people. Really, really looking forward to it. Hope you have a good Christmas, guys. We'll catch you tomorrow for Don Bradman Cricket. Uh, as I said again, have a good Christmas. Have a safe Christmas. And we'll see you soon.